I'm Brian Batten. I've been a member of River Point for about three and a half years. I grew up with a father that was extremely uh, abusive and self-destructive and destructive to the family. And so that's what I knew a father to be. Uh, so I didn't have a very good role model for a father growing up. We went to church every weekend, but we didn't live a Christian life. My family did whatever they wanted to do instead of living through God's word. Coming from that household, I lived a very self-centered life. I did whatever I wanted to do. I mean, I was self-centered. I was egotistical. I was, uh, I mean, I lied. I was deceitful. Um, I was living in the world and lived by that standard. God at that time was um, a distant thought. I'd learned about him growing up, but he wasn't real to me in my life. I'm not going to tell you the gory details, but there are gory details. I wanted a different life. I mean, I'd kind of come to the point where I was, I mean, like I said, it was just getting darker and darker. And then I was getting older. And I was like, what does this mean? I mean, what am I doing with my life? It's just one big party. And then, you know, you got to get up the next morning and you're not going anywhere. The more I tried to distance myself from my father and live the lifestyle that I lived, the more I realized that I was becoming more like him. And that scared me. About seven years ago, I met my wife. Before we got married, I started going to church with her. And uh, we really tried to get connected and plugged in. And everything we tried, couples, retreats, and events, we couldn't make a connection. And so then we decided to try it church closer to our home, which was River Point, and um, immediately I mean, we felt a part of the River Point family. I got involved in softball and met a bunch of guys there. Uh, we started doing home team. We uh, went on some couples retreats and I became involved in a men's group. And it, there was just so many avenues to get connected to people. I started reading the Bible and I realized that my relationship with God was not where it needed to be. Um, it was about two years ago when we were going through an extreme struggle with career and financially and it was at that point where I put my faith in Christ. I mean I turned from sin, I repented from my sin, um, I asked Christ to come into my life and I felt different. I mean it was a different life that I was living. Now that I've accepted Christ in my life, I just thank God that he let me live this long to really know him. I don't have a relationship with my father now, but I have forgiven him. I know that he's just another sinful person that needs Christ. I try to recognize actions that are kind of ingrained in me as you know how I grew up and the model that I had in front of me. I try to recognize things that I do or am inclined to do towards my own kids. And I think that it's made me a better father. And especially now my role model is Christ, which is in God, which is the perfect father. Um, that's a true blessing for my kids. I love my church because of the people. I love my church because it's real and it's not for show. I love my church because it gives you a lot of opportunity to get involved and a lot of opportunity to grow your relationship with Christ. My name is Brian Batten and I love my church.